here today to discuss uh, the pink section on the eat well plate which is here it's about 15% of our diet of course I've scribbled them out so you can't cheat but most people incorrectly call this section meat it's not meat those people are wrong we call it protein because there is other things in there protein generally does come from animals we could have any animal we wanted we could eat elephant if we wanted to we could have albatross which is a giant seabird we could eat crocodile of course we could eat this little scamp if we if we chose to of course we never would because I'd rather eat beans for the rest of my life than eat something as, as cute as this little monkey. Of course, she looks a little bit like a gremlin, but she is a form of protein. Any animal is a form of protein. So you could, if you wished, eat bits of the chicken here, which of course is a good form of protein. Nice and low in fat, especially if you take off the skin. We've got some lamb here. This is lamb mince. But of course, any, any form of lamb, lamb legs and things. We've got beef mince here, so we've got chicken, lamb and beef. Last in this section for now is pork. Okay, bacon is not the healthiest version of pork, but it's pork nonetheless. Of course, at room temperature, is solid, so it's a saturated fat. That's one of the worst kinds of fat. On low fat versions of everything. So, this white section up here, we would just cut off. We're trying to make it healthier. Okay, meat will never be low fat. But if you cut off as much fat as you can, you will be making healthier choices. What else goes in there? Okay, so we've got some fish. We should be eating two portions of fish a week. Like prawns and, and cod and haddock and or, or kind of like white fish. One of those portions should be oily. So this could be salmon like this. We could be fresh tuna, not tinned. Um, the process of tinning tuna. takes away the oiliness, so that's not suitable. We've got some tin sardines here, and these are delicious. You eat the whole thing. Don't worry about the bones inside. They're cooked, they're very soft, and they're a good source of calcium. They've got some good oils in them. They're good for your brain and good for brain development, which is important for children. Beans. Any beans are a good source of protein. They're called legumes. They grow in a pod. And this is where vegetarians got a lot of their protein from. On a similar theme, we've got lentils here. Lentils, again, are a legume. And there you go in, good source of protein. Soya is a bean. And, of course, that's turned into tofu. It's very low fat. It's like a it's like a fake meat. Things We've got eggs. Delicious free-range eggs here. Of course, I've already had one for my breakfast this morning. For years, doctors told us to stay away from these because of the cholesterol content. They now know that they've made a mistake. And we should be eating eggs because they are like nature's vitamin tablets. I love sausages. Oh, sausages. I could eat them every single day. You stupid boy! Sausages cannot go in this section! What? There are a few things that we shouldn't be eating within this section. Sausages, for example. Darcy would like a good sausage. Darcy? Would you like a sausage? Would you like a sausage? Oh, oh, we'll have to, we'll have to cook these for you later on. You dirty little dog. I knew you'd be in there. Sausages are too high in fat. Are not just one piece of meat though. It's meat that's all ground up and squashed up. And the reason that we make sausages is because there's lots of fat in it. We can't really separate any any value. So we squash it all up. Mix it with breadcrumbs and salt and other things, of course. And we make them into sausages. Now, I'm not saying they're not delicious, but they're a treat. We should be eating them sparingly. So not every day for a full English breakfast. Every now and again. Now you sit there and you just look at those sausages and don't eat them, young lady. So what's the point of eating from this section? I hear you ask. So it's, it's for growth and repair. So if we want to, to grow, especially for we're children, then of course, it's very important. If your little Darcy here and want to grow up to be a big dog, which will never happen, don't tell her because she's a miniature Boston Terrier. So she'll never get any bigger. But she should be eating lots of protein. Okay, and that's for, that's for the growth element. And repair. So if, for example, you, you pull a muscle, your body will use protein to repair the muscle. If you go to the gym and you're getting bigger and you're trying to bulk up, your muscles need to be repaired. Because what happens is they split apart and then they grow back a little bit bigger. They split apart and grow back a little bit bigger. Of course, not everyone goes to the gym, but everybody at some point will lift something too heavy for them or they will run a little bit faster than they were capable and they will wake up and they will have some muscular damage and that will be repaired with protein. So what we're trying to do is trying to make healthier choices. So if you can get a lower fat version of mint, then go for that. Some places have 20% fat, some places have 12% fat, some go down as low as 5% fat, but of course fat is a cheap bit, so if you're removing it out of there, price is going to go up. Like a piece of beef fillet, there's no, no visible fat that we can cut off, but of course with bacon, all of this fat here, we, we, we don't want in our bodies, really. So on that bombshell, I will bid you farewell, and until the next one, take care.